Lay up top of the right But there. Rambo is alive! Rambo is going to queue his way up and find a way to survive! And Rambo wins! <laughs> Rambo is a monster! Yo, I'm uh, Rambo, professional Apex Legends player for Torin, and uh, this past weekend for Champs, I subbed in for GMT Esports. Hey guys, this is G-Sound. I'm the manager for GMT's Apex Legends team. Is that all? What else do you need? <laughs> it started out with our our player, Max Strafe, who lives in the Ukraine, who still cannot get out of the country due to the war going on there with Russia. And so step one was finding out, you know, a few weeks before the tournament that, hey, there's no possible way for Max Strafe to make it. We rung up Mady, who was our sub when we went to Sweden. I mean, the rest of the, the rest of the world, it's not easy to get into America just due to the visas. You got multiple flights. We um, we got the guys there early, and the boot camp we had set up was just it was terrible. It was open to the public. There's eight year olds playing bumper cars with the chairs, screaming Fortnite dances. You know. We found another location and the vibes were just terrible because of how bad the PCs were. They just could barely play the game. Um, so we walked into day one of the tournament just gut-wrenching feeling that this might not go well, right? So we find ourselves day one of the tournament. It's the 7th. It's 8 a.m. And I get a phone call or I get a, a, a Discord call from Mady, and he has tested positive for COVID. I just almost laughed. I I chuckled, almost laughed out loud. I chuckled to myself because it was it was kind of par for the course at this at this point, right? I immediately started calling Rambo. Um, he had been signed up as our COVID sub. Wednesday night, I was out like partying when I first got in. Uh, Thursday morning came, and I was like feeling a little little foggy and uh, my phone like started to blow up. So I called him about, I don't know, 45 times. And finally he responds back, hey, I'm getting in the shower, I'm on my way. I'm like, hey, you gotta get here and do COVID testing and check in and you have about 45 minutes to do so. Because I was staying with my brother at the time, uh, he lives in Raleigh, so I was like, hey dude, like I gotta go like, I'm about to go play. I gotta like get my controller, get all my stuff ready, and I gotta head out the door. And yeah, I'm about to be playing all day. I'm about to be at the venue for 12 hours and stuff. And uh, it was like it was crazy. Like it was. Um, I was like shocked for sure. These moments. What do we do? We fucking celebrate, and we're gonna go and find them. We clutch up, baby. We fucking clutch up, baby. Let's go, Rambo. Let's go, Sir Dell. You're the go, baby. Let's go. Rambo Jim. shows up. He clears COVID protocols. Um, we meet with the boys, we go over for about 15 minutes, just basic strategy, what role he's going to play, how he's going to loot, um, really just giving him the cliff notes of this is what we need you to do. And day one uh, proceeded and it wasn't too bad. Not great, not terrible. We had good moments, we had bad moments, but it was really just a good moment or a good time for us to really... Um, learn to play with Rambo, right? The guy's incredibly talented. NA players that are available to be a COVID sub are hard to come by, um, especially ones that live relatively close to where the land is happening. He was a, a no-brainer for NASC, and um, whenever we met him, it became clear immediately because of the type of person he is um, as far as attitude and personality goes. He was the spark that we needed to kind of turn around our series of unfortunate events. Um, Nasket puts a lot of time into the game, like for, for their play style, like where they land. And he, he like knows where teams are going to be out on rotates, how basically every team in the lobby is going to play the certain zones and stuff. He puts in a lot of time. So it made it easy for me to just plug in. And, you know, like I'm just a controller player. So I just I do what I do best and just shoot my gun, you know, and fry. So. Um, he was able to just put me in spots, and um, I was able to do my thing. Oh my goodness, Karen Pope somehow just stays alive. Someone get that man a band-aid, he's gonna need Oh it. my goodness. I'm nervous. Nobody say anything. <laughs> Nobody say anything. Rambo's laughing. The rest of the lobby won't be in a minute. And when you believe in that man right there with that luscious hair, 
Drake Rambo. You gotta know he's gonna show up today. It's GMT, baby. The Nasty Vibes. Rambo and Nasty on one team. Two of the best personalities in all of Apex Esports. I love the energy. I love the gas. I want to give them my gas. I got GMT. You know what? Words can't even describe what what it's like like playing in front of uh, in front of like fans. It's unbelievable. Like the hype and the like just the noise after you make like a play or like a good play. Um, it, it's unbelievable. Like it, it sparks like a new passion for it. And that energy stuck with us throughout the rest of the tournament. I mean, the belief and confidence and heart that this team showed, I, it, it was everything and it was the only thing that mattered because our the skill level is so close together with all these players up on the stage. It's really about the mental strength carried us through the finals and ended us with the fifth place. So, I mean, Rambo is, uh, I consider him a brother of mine now and I, I've i known him for five days. And um, really it was just a, a, an exceptional experience that I would go back and do again a million times over. Yeah, that, that feeling we had on stage, I mean, it was just electric. Like definitely an experience I'll remember for the rest of my life for sure. The energy of the crowd and just playing in a, like a live on and just playing on land. Playing on land feels so good. Like your guns, like actually connect and you don't have like input lag. It's so nice. The experience I have with GMT was just truly incredible. They were all like super, super nice to me and super supportive. And um, I'm very, uh, very blessed to have uh, been able to, to uh, like for the opportunity to uh, play with them. Cheers, and uh, thank you for loaning us the blonde-haired beauty himself. Uh, I got to share a couple beers with him. He's one of the coolest guys I've ever met in my life. Again, he's a brother for life, and uh, you guys are lucky to have him. Support him every step of the way. The guy has potential to be an absolute uh, rock star in the gaming, esports, streaming world. Uh, thank you for letting us borrow them and uh, enjoy them for as long as you can. <laughs> With your East and RK and on my side, I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna crush it. I, I know we are. I know we have what it takes, and so that'll be super special when we all three make it together.